Let's talk about um, a way to buy properties with children. So children under the age of 18, for example, say you're a couple and you want to uh, buy some properties for the later generation to maybe pass on to them later on. And um, there's some uh, useful ways of doing so. Hello, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope everybody is well. I hope everyone's safe um, and have recovered from the football. Um, right, I thought I'd talk about a, uh, a topic that one of my clients actually when I had an inquiry about. And I, although I wrote an article on this topic a while ago, um, there has been some changes and the client actually asked me to research it for them. And I thought, well, actually, once I've done the research, why don't I get some of the information out there to yourself? And that's for people that want to buy properties and maybe stick their children as shareholders uh, or, 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 or buy it with, with their children. Um, now, the only way that I'm aware of this can be done is obviously uh, a majority of the lenders will say, look, you know, they've got a minimum age. So, you know, 18 years, 21 years, 20 years. So um, uh, if you're doing it in personal names, um, I don't think there's a way of doing that because they are not legally um, entitled to be able to be homeowners. Um, where uh, there is a way around it or, or one of the ways possible is to buy it under a limited company. And these are for buy to let investment purposes, just to make it clear. Um, and buy it within a limited company structure and then have your children as shareholders okay now so you could be the directors either yourself or your partner or mutually uh, the, you know you'd have share shareholders and directors so you'd be the director for example husband and wife could be the director and your two kids can be shareholders now there's a little rule around that and different lenders have got different rules so um, some lenders would say that um, uh, there's a there's a cap on um, the shareholdings that your children can have so no more than 20% shares okay so 20% is to the children the rest of it is for the directors and if it's under 20 or 25% um, they they don't have to go on the application form now some lenders have got 20% some lenders have got a 25% rule um, there is a particular lender that's got a 100% rule so essentially you could be the directors and they could own 100% of the uh, the property within a limited company structure okay so um, however I mean I would be a bit dubious to go with that lender only I'd rather go with a lender that's got you know a, a criteria that's accepted by multiple lenders because at the end of the day what happens in five years time if you if you set up a structure and in five years time the lenders will not accept that structure anymore um, so I'd rather go with a lender that will have or, or, or a lender that's um, got a standardized uh, um, criteria around it and generally from what I can see here is 25% um, now the question to ask is and this is what I've gone back to uh, some of the lenders is you know is that 25% individually or is that 25% you know between them or is it 20% so different lenders have got different like I said they've got some are 20% some are 25% so forth so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of different sort of criteria around that and the main thing is generally you need to be a homeowner with a lot of that sort of structures some of the lenders may not accept you know may accept first time buyer first time landlords but um, you know generally what you get is people that are, are experienced maybe you've got multiple properties and now are looking at you know maybe as part of inheritance tax planning they're looking at uh, you know doing things a, a different way and this is certainly a, an option out there I just wanted to let you guys know that there is an option like this um, and you know it is available and we are you know getting inquiries uh, on these type of deals and and hopefully we can place a few of these as well I'll, I'll speak to you later hope you're all well like like and subscribe guys if you do like this uh, this point and if you do like the channel you really can support us by just liking subscribing and make a comment below take care all the best the content of this video does not constitute giving advice it's purely for information purposes all cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker as a mortgage is secured against your home or property it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments niche advice is authorized and regulated by the financial conduct authority